Okay, so now we're going to learn to crimp Anderson power pole connectors. These are mainly used to connect the motors and motor controllers together. So they come in different wire gauge uh, ratings, which they refer to with amps. So you can see these are the 15 amp connectors. And if you take a look at the terminals, they are made for smaller wire. So these are actually made for 16 to 20 gauge wire. And then if you look at the what are termed 30 amp terminals, they're useful for 12 to 14 gauge wire. You can see they've got a slightly bigger uh, hole in there. And then we've got 45 amp terminals and those are used for 10 gauge wire. You can see they've got no holes, just a big slot to put the wire in. So we're gonna go over the 12 gauge. Um, these are the only ones that are slightly different. You just want to make sure your wire reaches into this small portion here, but doesn't extend beyond. Other than that, it's all the same. So first we're going to start preparing our wire. We want to strip a length of wire equal to the size of this metal barrel portion. So from there, and with the wire just barely sticking out uh, the end. So I'll take our wire strippers and take a good guess here. So I'm just going to do one of these to start. And you can see that looks about the right wire length. So sometimes it can help to just spit, twist the wires slightly. Insert them into the terminal. And make sure you don't get any uh, strands sticking out. And now we're going to take this tri crimp tool. So this is the proper tool for the job. You can see it's got a 15, 30, and 45 written on there. You're going to choose the proper space for the terminal. So this is a 30 amp terminal, so we're going to go in the middle where it says 30. So we open up the tool. We're going to make sure this little lip is bent facing down. And then it's going to go back into this little slot in there. And then while pushing on the wire, you're just going to go all the way down on the crimp tool until it releases. And there, you've got a nice crimp. Do a pull test on it, like with all crimp terminations, and that's not going anywhere. So now I'm just going to finish off the red one so I can show you how to put it into the shell. So once again, strip. Yeah, separate these just a little. Turn it all down. Okay, so now that we've got our terminals crimped on there. I didn't really pay attention to the orientation like I should have. Those lips are going to go over these spring contacts in the housing. So they're going to go just like this. Make sure you get your colors oriented correctly. And then you're just going to insert them in until you hear a click. So there's a click on the black. And there's a click on the red. If you're having trouble getting them in there, there's this insertion tool that may or may not be helpful. On the larger gauge wire, it tends not to be, but you can use it to put some pressure on the housing from the back. Uh, this is also useful if you want to take a terminal out. You take the blade on that, insert it under the terminal of the screw. We'll see if I can do this on camera. And while putting a little pressure on here, you're just trying to get that lip over that spring. So I've got it, and there, we've removed the terminal. And to put it back in, we just follow the reverse, and now it's right back in there. So this housing is the same for the 30, the 15, and the 45 terminals. The only difference is this crimp terminal itself. And that is how you do an Anderson power pole connector.